Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Rahana. We're playing more of Gakko in Heaven 2. We're continuing on Arata's route, and this will be a continuation of the same day that we were on before, where Yuki went to lunch with Arata. He left uh, to go to practice, and then Tomo and Yagami came and talked to him, and Yuki admitted to being sad and lonely that he couldn't hang out with Arata. So... Now we're going to follow him along. I'm not sure, but the background music seems really loud today. So I'm going to turn it down quite a bit. Alright, hopefully that's better. So we have Yuki. I'm not sure if this is after school, but here he is saying I'm kind of nervous. I'm going to the pool, but I don't really have any business there. But... So we get a little flashback to something that happened in the cafeteria, even though we didn't actually see it happen in the previous scene. So it was a little bit of extra text from Yagami here saying, It's so stupid. If you're going to go on and on worrying like that, just go see Arata, you dumbass. If you have something you want to say, just go say it clearly. That's what a man does. That's right. Yagami's right. If I don't like not seeing him, I should just go see him. But after all, I don't really have a reason. I wonder if Arata-san's already at the pool. If he is, what should I say to him? Peeking in from the back like this, if anyone saw me, that'd be kind of lame. So he's behind the school building or something. And I assume he's, he's kind of like creeping on the pool, like peeking in through the window to see if he's in there. Which is kind of stalkery, Yuki. What are you doing? Huh, what is it? What are you doing here? I was running on the track. You were running, but why were you doing that by yourself? What are you doing? Um, well... What is it? Hide and seek? No. Arata will hide with you too. What? So I guess they're kind of hiding in the bushes here. Arata-san, aren't you a little close? Arata -san, aren't you a little close? But it's hide and seek, so who are we hiding from? Well, I'm telling you. And now we have some people here, and they don't have names either, but they are members of the swim club. So their name is just swim club member one, two, and three, we'll see here. And it's nice that they're actually identified, because a lot of times we get student, and then there's multiple students talking, and they're not identified one, two, three, or any other way. So you're like... All right, how's the flow of the conversation going? You can tell them apart by voice, but, you know, when somebody new jumps in, you can't really tell, and it makes it a little difficult. So I'm glad that they actually marked the people here. So we'll have an interesting scene with the swim club members. And here's number one saying, seriously? <laughs> well, that startled me. What was that loud voice just now? You guys haven't heard yet? Oh, they're guys from the swim club. I wonder if they're taking a break. It looks like they got together to have a talk. No way, Minase? What are they saying about Arata-san? Are they talking about the final round again? I have to go tell them they're wrong. So it only makes sense that Yuki would assume that even the members of the swim club are talking about Arata and how he disappeared around the uh, third round of the bell one. He wasn't there, just left Mato behind. Of course, to other people, that looks pretty shady. Arata-san. 
He's kind of grabbing my arm. Like he's trying to stop me. So Arata does not want Yuki to confront anybody about anything. Yeah, seriously, I heard it all at the joint training camp before. Joint training camp? That's what Arata-san said was happening after the final round of the Bell 1. Was that the one with the swim clubs from other schools? He was visiting his sick grandma, so he ended up not going. That guy said he went to the same middle school as Minase. He said that Minase was well known for liking guys. Seriously? Liking guys like that? Him? And that he caused problems in the swim club when he was in middle school. What kind of problems? Like relationship troubles? Jealousy issues? Was it a love triangle with all guys? Who knows? What do you mean, who knows? Didn't you say you heard it all? Well, asking about details of stuff like that was a bit much for me. And he kind of didn't want to. Hey, no way, was that guy a victim too? What? A victim? So... They heard something from some random guy they ran into at this training camp thing, and apparently people were talking shit about Arata, so... These two are in a pretty shitty situation overhearing this, you know, hiding in the bushes where no one sees them, and these people are just talking without any restraint at all, because they have no idea they're being watched. Yay, high school. Are we going to be targeted too? Well, I change naked in front of him every day. Well, we all do, right? When we change, why don't we all hide our fronts? I'm gonna use a towel. Otherwise, he'll be checking me out. Someone like you doesn't have anything worth checking out. Oh, well, I'm pretty confident. You're an idiot. Well, I'm so glad Minase didn't en end up attending the joint training camp. We would have been in the same room. You were saved. That would have been creepy. What's with these guys? What is it, Yuki? So the two of them having to overhear this smack talk, wow. Also, you don't often see stuff like this come up in, in games, you know, it's kind of, everything's kind of happy and especially this series, um, things are just kind of okay and just go along with it. We don't really talk about people's orientation, sexuality or any of that stuff. It's just, you know, the protagonist ends up with the boy of your choosing, and that's not really much of an issue for anybody. So now it's being addressed, and now it's an issue. And we get a choice here. We can say, the stuff that they're saying, it's a lie, isn't it? Or, bad-mouthing you is cowardly. If you pick this, you will be locked into what is called Arata's friendship ending, but it is horrible. It is just don't um i don't know if i'll ever play it because it's just like horrific but if you choose this no matter what you do later on basically at the end of the game yuki ends up sleeping with arata just 
like as friends with benefits and he's like one day Arata-san will be happy again and he'll open his heart to me and it'll be fine and everything will be great and like no Arata's just because this is like a rejection this is saying well what they're saying is a lie right like Yuki saying well it's not okay to like guys so I won't believe that about you so don't ever pick that it's really horrible um even though it's not considered a bad ending, it is a bad ending. It is actually the worst ending in the entire game. It's really disgusting. Um, just really goes against Yuki's type and Yuki's character. It, it doesn't make sense at all. So just don't do it. We will say bad mouthing you is cowardly. And that's exactly what he said. And Arash was very surprised to get this reaction from someone. He's probably never had anyone say something like that to him. But it is talking about you behind your back. Gossiping like that's cowardly. What's so funny? But you don't care about what they're gossiping about? Well. Well. Well, I do care, but... You do. Well... But... Hey, what was that voice just now? Minase, did you just hear... Crap, and the ace is with him. Ah, ah, I Oh, you found me out. Minase. Maji. Minase, are you serious? <laughs> okay, I am not going to do an accent or a voice here, but the way Arata is speaking in this section here is really meant to sound like a stereotypical gay person so like you would imagine the stereotype in english would be someone with a lisp that's exactly what arasha is doing in this scene um you can kind of tell his tone is different and the way he's speaking um he'll use feminine pronouns and verb endings and things like that which um don't really translate over that well and i am certainly not going to try to imitate that so the guy asks him seriously and he says well who knows so it's different from his usual kind of derpy way of talking. He's using a very feminine pronoun, atashi, which typically only women would use. So he's saying, but even little old me has a type. Shumi? A type. Ah, no, um, what do you mean? Beefcakes like you guys aren't my type. How should I put it? I get all hot for cutie pretty boys. So don't forget it. Huh? Hey, what's with that? So he's just over exaggerating to the point of ridiculousness to distract from what's going on here. That's not funny, Minase. Eh? Dame? Huh? It's no good. What is that? You're one of those? And I don't know what he's implying by those. <laughs> and now he's back to his normal kind of derpy personality. So he's saying, yeah, that's right. Well, that's enough. The ace next to him is all frozen in surprise. Oh. We're going back now. You finish up your running too, Minase. And no more jokes. Hi, hi. Right, right. 
No oh wells, this can't be helped. Anyway, so these guys are heading off into the distance. Oh. Hmm. What? Mom, um, before. <laughs> well, I guess I wasn't very funny before. Not funny. Before they said he likes guys. Was he really joking about that? Or was he worried about the swim club members? I don't know. I don't get it. Yuki, daijoubu. Are you okay? Well, I was a little surprised. I mean... This is the first time I've heard stuff like what those swim club members were saying. Something like that about someone I know personally. So, I was kind of surprised, or I didn't believe it. I see. Um, before what they were talking about. Was it true? And I like that he just asks that, you know, why wouldn't he? This is Yuki, he's honest, he's straightforward, he will ask. Well, who can say? So, notice just the complete deflection there from Arata. He's not going to answer at all. If it's wrong, you have to deny it. That's useless. Useless? That's right. It's useless to deny that kind of rumor. Once there's a suspicion, it never really clears up. But rumors don't last. So what are you going to do? Nothing. I'm going to leave it alone until it dies down. Things are fine like this. Even though he said to finish up, I think I'll go run a little more. Yuki. See you later, Yuki. He left. I wonder if this is okay. After all, I think he doesn't like that people in the swim club are talking about him like that. But Arata-san said to leave it alone. <sighs> well, I'll go back to the student council room. <sighs> so, finally starting to get hints of what's going on here. Um, yeah, so high school boys talking shit about other high school boys, not that much of a surprise really. Um, and you can see that, that Arata is kind of separating himself from everybody, you know, and he, he uses his personality and joking to, I think, well, it'll become very evident soon enough, but it's to kind of insulate himself from things that are negative. These boys were talking about him. He decided to make a joke out of it to deflect from what they were talking about even though in a way kind of drawing more attention to it but just to make it seem ridiculous that they're talking about this sort of thing and to get them to focus on something else and it makes you wonder you know how much of Arata's silly personality is actually him and how much is something that has been carefully constructed to protect him from whatever negative things are happening Especially since there's talk of stuff happening in middle school, rumors from middle school, someone who went to the same school as him. Of course, um, students go to all different high schools in Japan, not necessarily people who were in the same middle school would go to the same high school because of entrance exams. They could apply to better schools or you know, someone who may not be as academically gifted would end up going to a less prestigious school or maybe end up going to a cheaper school if their parents don't have a lot of money, things like that. So... Um, of course, Arata has been kind of plucked out of that by being able to go to BL school, so he's in a 
environment with very few people, so um, there's lots of other people out there I'm sure he went to middle school with who are not here at this school. Probably not a single person that he, he went to school with is here. So school's interesting in that way. But yeah, so we're starting to get a look at what's really going on here. And you have to wonder, you know, what's up with the swim club? Why are the people in his own club talking about him like that? And of course it makes sense to think that, yeah, they're the people who spend the most time with him. And they see him the most, so um, they would talk about him, but I don't know, man. It's, it's rude. Where's for someone to stand up and say, hey, we're better than this. Let's not be a bunch of douchebags who talk shit about members of our own club, especially the member who is apparently the, the best one in the entire club. Then again, maybe there's some jealousy and stuff going on there, too. So... That actually ends this scene, and I believe it also ends this day, so definitely the place to stop. This has been a long scene. A lot to, to think about and digest here, so um, thank you for watching that. Thanks for being so patient waiting for me to post that. Um, I'm glad I was able to work on this one and do it justice and offer some commentary. Hopefully it wasn't all kind of obvious stuff. You know, I was able to help out with some interesting things, and um I hope to see you next time, so thank you for watching as always, and I'll see you then. Bye!